What is up, everybody? How y'all doing today? Good evening, everybody. Good to see you. Good to see you. Y'all, we are looking forward to diving into this topic. Uh, it has been very polarizing from the jump, all right? Because this this uh this thumbnail or this picture that we're about to show y'all here has qua caused quite a stir uh, in these YouTube streets, uh, social media in general, all right? And, you know, so we're looking forward to diving into this topic. But, you know, before we get started into this topic, I got to do a little house cleaning. You mind if I do any house cleaning? House cleaning or housekeeping? Housekeeping. <laughs> housekeeping. Say, say, look, I, I, I'm a little flustered, y'all, but you know what? What Jermaine is going to do today, Jermaine, let me get my baby in this in here. Can y'all see Nikki? Scoot up a little bit. So the, okay, you good? Okay, look, we don't just, you know. But anyways, listen, y'all, we're looking forward to diving into this topic um, because it is a, a picture of a father and a daughter that are kissing and kissing is not so much the issue. Um, there's some other issues that we have and it's not just us. Um, and, but we'll talk about it. But before I do that, I got to go do a little housekeeping because I think some of y'all done forgot. All right. We are that Christian fam. And for those of y'all who happen to see some of our content and don't follow our channel, y'all must not know. I am that dude. All right. I am me and my wife. We are that Christian fam. And when I say I don't care, I really mean it. All right. I was taught, uh, I was raised and trained by a military father. He he taught me to say what I mean and mean what I say. And I mean every last word I say. If I say something's inappropriate, that's what I mean. Ain't trying to cause no fights. Ain't trying to hurt nobody. But at the end of the day, you might just, I hate him. you might just hate me. But guess what, y'all? I really don't care. As long as I know that God is giving me that conviction. As long as I know that I'm not sinning against nobody. Hey, like who, who said you could hate me now? Wasn't, wasn't that uh what was that? Oh, nice. <laughs> back in the, back in, back in the day, you can hate me now. Y'all can hate me all you want, but I'm that dude that really don't care. I'm going to say what I mean, mean what I say, speak my opinion. And if y'all, and if some people call it judgment, so be it. I don't care. All right, y'all. Again, because if we let y'all run the channel, that becomes it becomes y'all channel. And last time I checked, this our channel. Did, did, didn't we start this channel? <laughs> we did. We did. And I just okay. want to add, he said it very clearly. And I mean, I don't think there's any room for I hate him. misconstrued. We care about people, obviously. We care about people. We do care about people. Um, but it kind of goes back to that old adage of you can't please everyone. Can't please everybody. So no matter how, and I think Jermaine has said this on our channel before. I matter of fact, I can take think out. I know he has. Um, no matter how politically correct you say something, no matter how nice you try to put it, um, you can dance around a topic, you can try to be as polite as possible. Someone is always going to have something to say. Somebody I always going to have just, something it's to just, say. It's just, that's life. Um, and you really cannot please everyone. So at the end of the day, you just have to get to that mindset of, I am seeking to please God. And if I am, you know, falling short in an area, then, you know, he'll convict me. The Holy Ghost will convict me. And that's the beauty of it. Because as humans, we will have flaws we will fall short um but as long as we're seeking to really please him that's really and i want to encourage somebody with that you know if you're kind of bound by trying to make everybody happy and trying to please everyone you're always going to drop the ball you're always going to fall short in somebody's sport so right. um it's just having a healthy mindset yeah. i'm going to please god and the criticism that may come along with it, because as being a Christian, you're automatically going to face some criticism. You are. Um, so he said it plainly. I probably didn't even need to elaborate, but I just wanted to add my little. Yeah, because I care. I, I care right. about the stuff I need to care about. Mm -hmm. And I care about other people's feelings and how they feel. 
to the degree that I'm supposed to. But when it comes down to, you know, people trying to run stuff or people trying to people getting offended, no matter what you say, you know what? At the end of the day, like we said, because if y'all really watch our content, if y'all real G's, y'all know that we have our children on this channel and some folks had some problems because we were hope we were teaching our children the Bible. And at that point I said, mm -mm, I really don't care. So I hate him. Now listen, now listen, can we, can we say hi to some, some people? Are yeah. Yeah. Him? Before, yeah. Before we get started, I do want to say what's up to, uh, Daryl. What's up? How you Darryl. doing? Latanya? What's up? Yeah, Good, to Good to see y'all. Good to see y'all. Um, yeah. So looking forward to it. All right, we're, we're going to dive in. There's some other people who haven't commented yet. I know y'all watching because I see y'all. I see the numbers. But anyways, y'all, we're about to dive into this whole situation because this created quite a stir. And I'm going to share uh, my screen really quickly with y'all. And I also want to put in there because you said how we feel. Mm -hmm. And I just want to um, say for those who are joining, mm -hmm. we may or may not have the same viewpoint. Yeah, man, man, I had the same viewpoint. We'll see. So hang in there with yeah. us. And, and, and we're we going to share some stuff because we, we got a lot to cover here tonight. All right, let's get started. Let me show y'all something real quick. Y'all see that pic? Do you see it? All right. Now, this is a father, and I don't know the relationship he has with his, with his daughter. I don't. But... All right. We already got the kissing on the lips. All right. Now that is a, a young lady that is, she look like, don't you, do you think she's above five years old? Oh, well, she definitely looks above five. Above yeah. six, something, something like that. All right. I mean, I know nowadays, especially now, not, you know, now. In Texas, yeah. you know, children can look older than yeah, what they are. Down here in the but... South, kids be big and they be young. Be like, bro, you, you too? You too? For real? <laughs> he, he got a six pack. He two years old. Lifting weights, pumping iron and stuff. But look, all right, so we got one issue. I don't, now, listen, I don't know what age y'all cut off kissing your kids on the lip. I cut off kissing my daughter or anybody, any of our other kids. I think I cut the latest I think I maybe, you know, let her give me a kiss on the lip was like four. If that. I if that. Yeah, I don't even. All I know is this. There was something that clicked within me to say, you know what? Hey, it's time to go ahead and cut that little stuff off. All right. Now, the kissing on the lip, I understand. Now, see, listen, people want to bring up, you know, oh, well, you know, some cultures, they kiss on the lips all the way through adulthood. Well, we ain't other cultures. But you know what? I don't even think it's just a, a cultural thing. No. I think it may be by family. By family. So I do want to acknowledge that part. Um, Some families do kiss on their lips. Now, I didn't grow up doing that. Uh -uh. It does make me a little uncomfortable, but I do realize that some families may do that into adulthood. But I don't even know, Jermaine, is it really about the kiss on the lips, though? It ain't. It it, it ain't. But the, 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 the thing. Not up in here. Not up in here. The thing that's really concerning is the grabbing of the head. I think it's, I think it's more so that yeah. it would bring about a conversation. Right. That would definitely bring about because here's the thing, you see the dude is bending over, so it ain't like his back broke. So if it was a matter of having to reach up to daddy's height, all right, daddy has shown the ability to be able to bend over to kiss his daughter, right? That's the, he ain't got no crutches, he ain't in no wheelchair, so he can bend over, all right. So you got that. So it ain't a matter of oh I'm too short to kiss daddy, so I need to palm him. Like I'm about to sun him, as Dre said from uh, New York. Dre said, you ain't finna sun me. When you sun somebody, you basically putting your hand on somebody's head. You ain't sunning me. So basically, listen, I am going to assume the uh, assume the role of, of authority and put the hand on the back of the head as a, as a girl. And keep in mind, this is the daughter, right? Let's go to the second pick. Now, here's the thing. I ain't, listen, I noticed this on my own, but other people pointed it out too. I just happened to go ass folk. Now listen, I I I cut I shouted shouted straight down the middle. I asked people who got kids. I asked people who ain't got nobody's kids, all right? I said, "What you see wrong with this?" They said, "Listen, first of all, the hand on the head, the kissing on the lip, combination of that. Then you got old dude holding his daughter 
and they are very uncomfortable with where his hand is on her booty. On her behind. Like, listen, there's a lot, and, and it ain't like she got some pants on. She got these short, you know, the shorts are hiked up a little bit because of where he's gripping her. But there's a different way. Like, your palm doesn't need to be on the caboose. There, like, listen, I'm a, I know how to put that, that forearm. If, if you need to rest on that forearm, now, if they too big to rest on the forearm, that means you probably shouldn't be lifting them. Now, I ain't nobody to be sit up here and say, oh, you know, you know, you too big to be carrying. I'm not, I'm not going to say all that. But what I will say is this. It, 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 it raises red flags when you see a man's hand on the bottom. He ain't whooping his daughter. He ain't giving her no whooping. He, he is. L- listen. So it, so it does make you uncomfortable. And Daryl, you kind of asked a question because. When Jermaine first showed this to me, I kind of said the same thing. I was like, well, do we really know anything about this picture? Daryl King asked, did this picture have a caption? From what we saw, I don't, from what I've seen, Mm -mm. I haven't seen a caption, but Daryl, my mind kind of went the same place. Like, what is this supposed to be proving? I don't know the background to it to really speak. So that was something that I was like, okay, what is the background to this? I really don't want to jump to any conclusions too soon because we don't really know. I don't know if it was a daddy, can you still pick me up type of, Hey, you know, I'm still your princess. I I don't know. Um, I definitely don't want to destroy the man's character because of you know, like a previous video. It, 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 exactly. I don't want to. And I applaud fathers. Ev- yeah. And I applaud that. fathers everywhere. And I really love to see black fathers involved in their in they kids' lives. All right. Cause ain't nobody trying to do that. But you, you but put this photo out here for public consumption. So you get what you get. Now, there. Now listen, there's some stuff. Because do you think that he put this out here on purpose, knowing he was going to get some blowback? Or do you think he was like, That's hey, it's me innocent to me. I'm going to just. I, like, what is the purpose? I don't know if it was like, happy to see my baby girl. I can still you know what? Or cherishing my princess I, while she's still. Young. I don't know. And even with that, I know that it could still make you feel like, oh, wait a minute. that Because a lot of people and I can I can see that point of view. We're like, you know, I thought that was a couple. Yeah, you know? I had those. So I'm like, man, I would have thought they were dating. Yeah, so that, that, there's a lot of dudes like I thought that I would have thought they were dating, and then there's some other dudes and other women who are like I th- you would have thought they were involved romantically. The way the two pictures look together. Now listen, she br- now listen, I listen. It, it, it could be he didn't know any better, but I beg to differ. And when Stop you, capping. And when you say involved romantically, in other words, like when you first look at it, you right, didn't even it, think that was his. Daughter, daughter right the point that that you know you saying with that so you know what Th- came to my mind Jermaine I was like you know I think that is definitely an opportunity for guidance definitely and we're gonna get to that here in a minute because we're yeah. gonna talk about that because listen this is oh I like what uh Latani says she says the girl is in a training bra I'll say about 11 or 12 she's in a training bra yeah so that's yo so she ain't six she ain't seven Yup. Yeah. Okay. Wow. That's a good look. Thank you. Thank you for pointing that out. I didn't even catch that. I didn't even catch that. I didn't even catch that. What does it say? Scooter to uncle. What does it say? In a society that is so sexually corrupt and immoral, uh, with all the access and exposure, this kind this this kind of is shocking and will only get worse. This is this this society is getting worse than Sodom and Gomorrah, man. Facts on that. Facts, facts on that. I think. Listen, there's a lot of possibilities. I'm gonna take this down. Um, I'm gonna take this down real quick. But listen, there's a lot of possibilities. All right. Now, what I want to say about that is this: there is. First of all, let me get to. Let me let me make sure I follow. Let me follow my stuff. Follow my points. I want to let y'all know that, listen, I looked at the comment section and there are thousands of comments on this, y'all. And I took about maybe 50 at a time, maybe looked at 50. And out of the 50 that I actually was able to count or whatever, uh, Dunaway, what's up? Dunaway, what's up, bruh? What do you say? What do you say? Can you rate that back? 
He said, I just think it's not necessary body language. I think it's great to show love to your kids, but this is all weird. For me, I want my daughter to feel my love through feelings, words of affirmation, and minor affection via hugs first. Then I think as she grows, she will know how to feel loved by a man and have an expectation of what love will feel like. Another great man will show her physical love later in life. Yeah. Man, that's, that's a that's that is so dope, Brian. That is a good point, bro. And thanks for showing up because that's my hometown dude. Hey, Brian, I appreciate you from Lawton, Oklahoma. Yeah, man. Yeah, it, he just thinks it's just so and it does unnecessary. Make you look comfortable when you look at it, 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 it yeah, send a feeling there. You mm -hmm. know? Uh, 11, 11 herbs and spices says the picture kind of show the appearance of evil. We should be careful in this day of age. Uh, just that, just the fact that you're talking about how about showing uh, something is wrong. Yeah, man, that's true. That's true. Good mm -hmm. point. I mean, what is what is it? I may be wrong, but if someone, I may be wrong, but if someone can do that with their own child, they may do uh, so. They may do so with someone else's child. Just an observation. Hey, that's a good point. That's a good point to bring up. Now, let me get to these comments because these comments were like, listen. 20 percent all right and i read a whole lot of them all right 20 percent of the comments they saw nothing wrong with this out of thousands all right all right thousands all right around 20 percent roughly uh felt that there was nothing wrong with this they felt nothing was wrong however 80 percent were deeply disturbed by this were deeply disturbed by this so that that if you have that many people that are disturbed by it, it had to cross your mind before you put it on social media. Like, you know what? Maybe this ain't a good look. Maybe this ain't a good look. I don't know. I don't know. Now, I, I do know. know. That's what I'm just, I'm just saying. I really don't know what was in his mind. I don't know what the purpose of his posting it was. I don't. There's just so many questions. I yeah. think that we don't have answers to and so that's why i was just like i think it's a perfect opportunity for some guidance to happen because maybe he didn't see a healthy father-daughter relationship i do know that we in 2022 and i know cats will sell their firstborn to get famous really people will do some remember that whole thing with the mcdonald's and we saw that it was staged it was fake. Mm -hmm. That type of stuff. So if people will go and stoop to that level of evil. People will do the craziest stuff just to get some buzz. And I saw his reaction on his Facebook live or whatever. And his his response was, you know, calling women bees, calling them three oh foes, saying, hey, listen, half y'all probably, you know, ain't baby daddy ain't worth, you know, blankety blank. So basically you're saying. If you got something negative to say about this, you must be a B, you must be a 304, or well, let's go and start attacking their relationship with their baby's fathers, their baby father. So, so now what we're doing is we're trying to qualify who should and who shouldn't be able to say something when you put a photo out there for public consumption. So, 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 so let me, let me get this straight. So that means if we see something that is alarming, we have to make sure that we are dang near perfect before we question something. So, so when it comes to the whole situation with R. Kelly, because you know people feel a lot, people are, that's a very polarizing topic, right? So, if we know something is wrong or something seems wrong, do we have to say, "Oh, you know what, dog, on it, I know that is wrong by golly, but I don't have all my." ducks in a row i hate him i don't have all my ducks in a row who who, 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 am, I? who am i who am i to say something who am i to judge who am i to judge i want the truth you can't handle the truth you know what time it is don't sit up here and try to skate by we're doing some foolery and you try to eliminate a, a large uh, section of the population who want to say something when you put some foolishness out there. All right. Now, I'm not saying necessarily that this dude was was malicious, had a malicious intent. But don't start attacking people's character when you put some buffoonery out there. 
having your daughter palm the back of your head as you kiss that girl on the lips. And I like what Latanya pointed out. The girl is wearing a training bra. So you know what time it is. She way past that stage. And if you got to grip her by the booty, there's something wrong with that. There's something wrong with that. And I'm not, I'm not making, I'm not giving excuses for him at all. I just always try to look at from different points of view. And I just wondered, is it one of those cases to where are you not ready for your baby to grow up? I mean, like, you know what I mean? Like, did you real, you know, it's like, okay, did you, did you miss that cutoff point? You know, there's that yeah. cutoff and it's just like, was there really something that didn't register, you know? And I'm, I guess I'm just trying to get the, See, maybe the mm, benefit of the doubt. I don't know. That's what it is. And, and you know what? I like what um, Nikki Millie said. Like what she her? says the first pick, the first picks a, a bit weird, but it could be her copying what she's, what she's seen and from thought, mom and I dad. About that too. Second pick doesn't bother me. Uh, I think it's just the way he picked her. The girl wearing a training bra, and I'll say this, and this is why we need to be careful. This is why I shout out to Dre. I like what he said earlier this week. You got to be careful because it gets real murky. Because if you're trying to mimic what you see mama and daddy do, mama and daddy do, that is a teaching moment. And that's what I keep saying. I think it's an opportunity for guidance. I think it's an opportunity to say when you are married, you know, or in a relationship, this is how... <laughs> you know, Yo. preferably, you know, you don't talk about the marriage part. Yo. If you're talking about physical, but, you know, this is how you see the husband, you know, like you see mommy kiss daddy like this because we are husband and wife. And we teach them. They you see know. us kiss. What do we we teach them? Like, hey, you know, this is that affection that, that goes on between a husband and a wife. But then you model, okay. This is a, it's going to be a different type of interaction yeah. between you'll be able to mimic what you see me and, and me and my wife child. Nikki do when you get a husband daughter. You'll be able to mimic that. All right. When you get someone who says, you know what, I want to put a ring on it. You can mimic that all day. But we ain't finna practice together. Mm -mm. No, no, no way. We ain't finna practice. You're not finna fantasize. There has to be a clear distinction. All right. The lines have to be drawn. And the more and more we get uh, towards this to where every all the lines are blurred, everything is murky. We don't know what gender we want to be. We don't know uh, what, what what sexual orientation we want to have. We don't know what bathroom we want to go in. We don't know uh, if we want to have two mommies, two daddies, all of that stuff. It's like uh, so much gray area. So much gray area. Yeah. And we're wrong if we say, you know what? The nuclear family is a husband, a wife, and kids. As God intended. Exactly. As God intended. Now, let's get into these possibilities real quick, y'all. Because here's the thing. Hold on. I want to get to some of these comments. And I need some clarity on this comment. Uh, wh which one? The one at the that you have up on the screen. Uh, and if I ever have kids, if if ever if God, God ever gives me kids, my, my, own my own family member, I right, go ahead. I could never do anything like that with my kids. I'd rather hurt myself or worse than damage my children. Okay, so I think like as far as the inappropriate hug, can you kind of clarify on that? Yeah, I I think what he's saying is like you know. I th that's damaging towards a child and we're going to get into that and I think that's where he's getting I think that's where he's getting if you want to clarify but you would rather see harm come to yourself oh, yeah. before your children Absolutely. you never want to bring harm your child's way I think that's where he's getting at uh, holler at us in the comments to let us know but listen y'all listen let's get into these possibilities could it be possible but that the dude just doesn't know any better that's I mean that's what I'm just I don't know and that's why I'm just so, because off of a picture, you just want to be mindful not to jump to conclusions. You know what I mean? Like we can see the picture and we can say what we see, what we observe. This is how it makes me feel when I look at this. But that's why I said at the beginning, I just want us to be mindful not to jump to the whole, like, I don't want to destroy his character. Not, uh, not assume that there's sinister play, but we can, like people have been saying, a picture is worth a thousand words. All right. So we can. Uh, make a healthy observation, but not say, hey, he must be a chester. 
Yeah, you see what I'm saying? That's, why that's just, not what just, we're trying to say at all. Right. I just want that to be clear because like we've said in other videos, I just want that alignment. You know, like we I am happy that he is a part of his daughter's life. Yeah. And we praise I God for that because there are so many people who aren't. You know, we've talked about that yeah. you know, where the daddies are missing in action. <sighs> But I do think that there's an opportunity for conversation, some guidance, some mentoring, like, you know, hey, dude, I know you love your daughter. It would have to come from an older man or um, even a, just a man, a guy, I mean, I even be older, but just someone who is wise to say, you know, dude, I think you might want to watch that because it could come off as like someone come mentioned off. like the appearance of evil. Yeah. And that scripture kind of came to my mind. They're like, it could come off as, you know that and so the scripture yeah. shown the very appearance of and then i know someone could be like but all they were doing is giving the kids it's just that whole the whole posture um yeah the not whole just the kids because i i'm sure there's people you know even at weddings where you may see grown and they'll go wow you know maybe with their parent if that's how they were grown up but it's more than just the, it's more than just the, that, the girl is in the training bra and she's palming the back of her the, daddy the head whole, whole, holding your head as as though they were in a different type of relationship. If like if you didn't know it was his daughter, you'd be like, oh, that must be his girl. Yo. Until you look closer. So just to try to help him out, like, hey, you know, you don't want it to appear inappropriate. You know, I just think it's opportunity for growth. Yeah, yeah. Facts, facts. Now, there was something else I was gonna say about these possibi the possibilities. All right. He said well, maybe he didn't know better. Yeah, maybe he didn't know better. Uh or you know, even with the whole the 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 vid uh, with the picture, dang it, Lord, it, it, I really did forget what I was gonna say. We're talking about the possibilities, and we talked about how okay, that that could have been one of those things. Or oh, this is what it is. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Listen, I know now. Listen, I heard, I saw many a people, many a people up in the comment section saying, oh. Well, let's applaud this daddy for, the, you know, he's a good father. All right. Now, keep in mind, just like you don't want people to jump to conclusions and hasty assumptions um, uh, when 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 they see the picture and you 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 say that, hey, man, this is inappropriate. Well, let's not make the assumption that this is the world's greatest dad either. Let's flip that on his head, because. I'm going to tell y'all why. I know Negroes in my personal life who know how to take pictures with the best of them. Who know how to take pictures with their kids like they're the world's greatest dad or they're the world's greatest mama, but in real life, they real life deadbeats. They bums. Certified bums. Who never spend time with their kids by choice. But they know how to put pictures up on the gram. They know how to put pictures up on Facebook to make it seem like they're the world's greatest dad, the world's greatest mama. And in the and in real life, real time, they are certified deadbeat bums as parents. That's a possibility too. That but I, is. But I don't even think we're trying to go there with this, though. Are we? No, I, no, we're, we're not. But but I I want to play to that thing. Hey, does. don't 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 make assumptions. Well, don't make assumptions the other way either. I'm not saying that he is a bum. I'm not saying that. But if we're going to talk about people jumping to assumptions, then don't jump to assumptions the other way. You see what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Like, I don't think that he is that. I'm not necessarily saying he is, but you can't sit up here and paint him as the world's greatest father based off a picture, just like you can't paint him as a villain off of a picture. Yeah, but I think that's the key point is that I don't know if we can really paint him anything just off exactly. of a Exactly, because we nobody's sitting up here about... trying to judge. We're yeah. sitting up here making an observation from a pick. Nobody's casting this man in the hell. Nobody's saying, hey, this dude is sinister. Ain't nobody saying that. All we're saying is, yo, this ain't a good look. This looks like it's inappropriate. The girl is in the training bra. She's palming her daddy's head as he gives her a kiss on the lips. So with that being said, and I don't know if you're planning on getting in the, into this later, but do you want to kind of talk about what came to mind when we were talking about it? How you're like, this concerns me because, and you brought up that, I can never say her name right. Ivan, 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 Ivan,
Von Zant. Von Zant. Yeah. Oh, gosh. That's all right. I'm sorry. If you're watching this, uh, Ms. Von Zant, I am not trying to slaughter you. Right. Face. We're not. We're not. Um, But that episode that you said, okay. Yes. Just kind of yeah. Yeah. Because see, up. with Lisa Ray was on Ayanla Van Zant, Van Zant, Fix My Life. Ayanla, Fix My Life. All right. And Lisa Ray was on there with her mama. Her and her mama have a not so good relationship. And one of the things that really uh, is a is a hindrance or is a uh, sticking point in their relationship, their bad relationship, is this: um, her father, before he passed, um, you know, he he at this point he's transitioned, but uh, when he was alive, he always treated Lisa Ray as if that was his girlfriend. Like she felt like the mama felt like Lisa Ray was put above her. So there was like there this tension and there's relate in the relationship because she felt that the dad treated the daughter better than she did her or yeah. better than he like she her. was the other woman. And so yeah, exactly. And so since that is the case, um that 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 bred animosity between the mama and the daughter. She always felt like uh Lisa Ray, the daughter was treated like uh better than her. And she was treated almost like look like the, the the wife was treated like um the side chick and Lisa Ray was treated like the wife, even though they weren't together. She got far better treatment from her father than uh her father ever ever gave her mother. And so that caused resentment in their relationship. And that's what we really want to talk about, too, because we have to make sure that we don't blur these lines, like we said, because it can create unhealthy relationships. It really can. Because, because what you end up doing is you end up wanting to, um, your your say for instance, you start romanticizing your father. You want every dude to be your father, and I love what Dre had to say earlier this week. Um, you start making every dude, every dude has to be your father, and if he's not your father, he's not good enough. Now, can we say, listen, there are some attributes that they might need to have that your father exhibited in your life. Sure. Yeah, because a lot of times that happens. Yeah. <laughs> you know, even if it's subconsciously um, or subconscious, um, a lot of times they say, you know, a man will end up marrying somebody that is similar to his mother, not his mom, but like you said, has similar attributes. Mm -hmm. And uh, a woman, because it's like the first model of the opposite gender that you see is in mm -hmm. your parents. So yeah. Like, and and know, sometimes, to to. And, and to be honest with sure. you, sometimes that's a good thing. And mm -hmm. sometimes that's a bad thing. Mm -hmm. Because oftentimes it breeds unrealistic expectations. Yeah, it does. And no matter what, and you'll, you'll find women who be like, oh, well, he's just a mama's boy. He, he, you know, he never got broke off the breast. You know, he's a mama's boy because he wants you to fold his drawers like his mama. Anybody got, man, listen, we're Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. All right. We ain't got time for that. What up, everybody in the chat? How y'all doing? Nilly, Millie. I'm uh, sorry, Nikki Millie. How you doing? That's a great point you brought up with Jay Z and so forth. Thank you for chiming in. Appreciate it. GCP Gospel Center Podcast. What up? How you doing? Thank you for joining us. Oh. Heidi Generation. What up? What's up? No, I just said, hey, y'all. Oh, okay. <laughs> Heidi Generation. What's up? There, there's terrible things that dads are doing uh, to their kids. Joe Biden's mm -hmm. daughter confessed in her diary. She remembered taking showers with her dad. Yeah, see, that's that. That's that foolishness right there. That's un. That's, that's definitely inappropriate. That's unacceptable. Mm -hmm. Inappropriate right there. Inappropriate. And like, and, and, and speaking of which, we're in the Me Too movement, right? So like. You would, you would, you would really have to be careful because a lot of people want to say, you know, want to talk about the Me Too move or whatever. But then when it comes to something like this, they're like, oh, I'll turn a blind eye. No, no. I think as a man, there needs to be something that registers in you that says, you know what? I need to cut this off. That's a little too much. That's a little too much. That's why I want to go to that teaching moment with him. Yeah. I, I just really want someone to kind of swoop him under their wing and just say, and you may not even mean any harm. Mm -hmm. And I understand. I applaud you trying to be there for your daughter. But this is the perception. This is the perception. Could give. And I just want you to stay protected. I want to make sure, you know, like, and of course, because we don't want to 
draw any conclusions off of the photo and we pray all is well, yeah. but you don't even want to give any type of room. Yeah, we you know? we live in a country where we have a um we have organizations that are that are um and I forget, I think it begins with an N. Um <clears throat> it begins with an N. There's organizations that talks about having affection towards young boys. Um and stuff like that. And this is the this is the nation or this is the uh world we live in. There's an organization and it's a national organization, uh having affection towards boys and like grown men talking about this. This is the world we live in. We have to be careful because the enemy wants is is out to steal, to kill, and to destroy. All right. And we need to be careful. Uh, not to have these lines blur because I believe that there's a way and we're about to get into that real quick because I want to bring the glory uh, back to God in this whole situation because God has actually set a standard and I'm about to share my screen real quick. I'm about to share my screen real quick because um, God has set a standard up. He has, set, he has established it in his word and uh, I want to jump in jump on this real quick these are 10 things scripture say about being a father all right now what you will find is this <laughs> let me tell you the two things you won't find and i'm gonna write this down so i don't forget uh well while uh, you're writing that down just a scripture that kind of comes to my mind though too is to be um wise as serpents and you harmless. Know, harmless as doves i mean i just think that we have to exercise wisdom. Yeah, for sure. And while we realize our, our children grow up, there does have to be something that sets in and say, okay, at this point, it should even feel uncomfortable <laughs> to you. Like yeah, at some point, like friends, like, okay, I'm not gonna be able to pick them up like I used to when they were babies. Right. Or, yeah, yeah. You know, and or even if the daughter was reaching for his head, make it a teachable moment. Hey, babe, you know, daddy can give you a quick a, a kiss or kiss me on the forehead or kiss me a yeah. cheek. Or even Thank if you're you. from a family, for, that kiss is on the list because I understand some families do that. Like I said, I personally didn't grow up doing that, but I don't want to discount the families um, that do. If that's a part of your family practice, like the quiz, you know, the quick, mwah, you know, I get it. Um, but I, I think that was a teachable moment. Like, hey, babe, you don't got to touch the back of daddy's head. <laughs> <laughs> right. You ain't got to touch like, the back of my head. for mama. Or that's reserved. You know, like, just yeah. teach her. So yeah, that you she can... knows because she is young. So maybe like someone brought up earlier in the chat, maybe she did see. I think it was Nikki. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe she was emulating what she saw um mommy and daddy do or whoever is girlfriend i don't know what it's that's what i'm saying we there are so many unknowns and that's why i'm hesitant to draw you know quick conclusions but we can't speak to the picture itself and what can we do as far as you know solutions as far as offering exactly guidance exactly so, and y'all before we get any further y'all hit that like button and if y'all are not subscribed to the channel please subscribe to this channel y'all we appreciate it we also appreciate the uh, super chat y'all give. We really do appreciate that. Uh, we have to be careful even when posting regular pics. A lady on IG did a video and uh, let me, let me, let me. Oh, I can't do that right now. Uh, Nikki Millie says we have to be careful even when posting regular pics. A lady on IG did a video and highlighting how on a page made for their kid, people were it just moved people were saying we're, sa the we're saving the pics not just two or three saved but hundreds of them saved yeah, yeah see that's wild and followed by people with weird pedophile names that's we have to be ever careful yeah we have to be ever careful and that's the last thing y'all wanted my wife nikki to read because <laughs> my wife nikki no, is very I she mean, is very protective of our children she is very protective and as she I needs mean, to be you have to exercise wisdom wisdom and be discerning so yeah. and it's really sad you know the things that are happening out there so um yeah and like and, and that just kind of takes me back to i'm not quite sure like daryl was saying what was the caption on the picture what was the post about why are we seeing this but um i think like i said multiple times it definitely is it, is leaves room for conversation oh yeah for as sure. far as the opportunity to uh for guidance so. yeah 
Yeah, it definitely does. Did Let's, you want me to read this? Yeah, if you get to go to one real quick. So one says, be your child's first teacher. So Proverbs 22, 6, which we know says, train up a child in the way he should go. And when he's old, um, he shall not, he will not depart from it. Let me read the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. That's a very good point. And that's what was one thing about being a father or a parent is you're, you're called to be the teacher. And we really do appreciate that. And so many people are raising children, but we need to go back to training children. All right. Like our pastor always talks about and what the word of God says, train them up. Don't just raise them, train them in the way they should go. Gracious greatness from across the pond. How you doing, my G? How you doing, bro? Hey. Good to see you. Good to see you, man. I'm glad you could join us, man. But listen, that's one thing you're called to be is you're called to be a teacher. And I'm going to skim through these, y'all. I'm not going to dive really hard into these, but this is what the word of God has to say in, in Proverbs 22, 6. Um, also, number two, dads need to exemplify a good life. Uh, 2 Corinthians uh, 3, 2, and 3, scripture teaches that uh, that who we are and how we live is like a letter from God. Our kids read the letter every day. Oh, talk about that a little bit. Well, it just makes me think about um, how actions speak louder than words. You know, you can sit there and you can um, say what the Bible says, but I think it has a greater impact when you see it walked out. And so, and it also kind of goes back to that adage of um, how you are the only Bible that some people will ever read. Some people may not. And I know we're talking about children in this case. So you have control or I'll say influence on you know, the Bible studies that are happening in your household, but it does um, make me think about how what they see is going to go a much longer way than what you're just telling them. Facts, facts. Yeah, good point, good point. Yeah, so. And then um, we're being asked for the uh, link too for this, if you could drop it in the chat. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll drop it in the chat real quick. If you can read number three. So provide for your family, First Timothy 5 and 8. So just talking about how did you want to elaborate on that one? Yeah, how you need to be a, a, a provider. And listen, there's and I talked about this at length. Uh, there's the link to uh, what we're sharing right now. I talked about this at length. All right. There are many ways you can provide for your family. Now, I do believe you need to make an effort to, to provide financially. You do. But there are also different ways. You know, there was a season in our lives where I had to how I provided for our family looked different at the time. Because I had to be the one to actually watch our children. All right. And like we didn't pay for daycare because of that. We had just moved to Dallas, Texas. And it was a season in our lives for about maybe nine months or so where that's what I did. And I got to spend so much time with our children. But there was never any shadow of a doubt that I was still the husband. I was still the father. I was still trying to provide. I wasn't just sitting around playing video games and looking at TV. I was still being uh, busy with my hands, so to speak. I was still trying to figure out ways to build things. And I continue to be a carpenter and stuff like that. And you did provide because you also provided peace of mind. <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm yeah. serious. Like, yeah. I knew our children were in good care because they were with their father, you yeah. know, my husband. So I didn't have to be wondering about anything. And then, like you said, the money that we would have been putting towards daycare, if you look at it that way, it was still financial provision. Exactly. These are some of the things that, that fathers are called to be in the lives of their children. All right. Now, I'm going to talk about two things we're not called to be. All right. Let's go to number four real quick as we skim through. Good dads discipline their children. And let me say this because you know, I'm, you know how I reflect. <laughs> I'm not talking about the peace of mind that only God can provide. Only God can give a peace. But you know what I'm talking about, mm -hmm. y'all. I was at peace because <laughs> I knew they were in good hands. So before someone dissects that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Favorite, yeah. Which one? Heidi. Well, hold on. Heidi Generation says we live in terrible times where parents are hypersexualizing their kids. Yeah. And there's like, I think there was a, I think there was a Netflix thing. Uh, what was that? What was that Netflix documentary called? Uh, where the, the kids were hyper uh, sexualized. Um, I forget. They had like these young girls in these short shorts and these, 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 uh, it was just wild. And they had young boys dressed up like girls. And, and I was like, yo, this is all the way wild. It was a Netflix documentary. If y'all know what it is, I, the, the name escapes me right now, but y'all put it in the chat if y'all remember what it is. 
Cuties, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Cuties. That was a very, very disturbing uh, documentary, man. It was just wild. I was like, oh, my God. N Nikki Millie, thank you as well. Uh, GCP Gospel Center Podcast, thank you so much. Hey, man, I'm going to check out your channel. Um, definitely, because this is my first time actually. I believe this is my first time seeing that. Um, but, yeah, I want to check out your channel. But, y'all, if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Let's go to number four. That good dads discipline their children. Oh, Nikki, can you talk about that real quick? Yeah, I mean, you have to redirect when redirection is needed, correct where correction is needed. It taught God, um, the Bible talks about how God, um, chastens, chastens, chastens them, them that he loves, who he loves. Those, who he loves. Know, as a father, you have to be able to, um, help your children see the errors. You know, because, you know, we're born in iniquity, shaped in sin. Mm -hmm. So you have to have a loving father that will sit you down and say, OK, this was not the correct decision, but also have the discussion on why. So it's not repeated. So having that good discipline. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in the home. Very good point. And y'all listen, um, it says that the father chastens who he loves. And if 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 I love my child. If I have a child, I'm going to chasten them. I'm going to discipline them. And if I'm not disciplining them, that might mean that they are a bastard child or they don't know their father or they don't have a father. Let's 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 bring that back to God. If God doesn't discipline you. It might mean you're not a child of his. It might just mean he's not your father. Because he disciplines and he chastens those that he loves. All right. Those who are his, his children. God loves everybody, but you got to be in the faith to be his child. You got to be in the faith to be his child. This ain't no country club. It just is what it is. I hate him. Dads spend time with their children and it's not empty time. Deuteronomy 6, 6 through 9. Yeah. Because it's one thing to say, hey, I'm a, I can't stand it when I heard dudes be like, you know what, I die for my kids. But you won't even get off the couch to go play football with them or to go play catch with them or to go uh, go play toys, play with toys with them. Or but you're talking about your conversation, just, uh, you know, just have a talk. Yeah. Some, some, uh, just quality time. Hey, man, what's going on with you today? How are you feeling? You know, knowing yeah. knowing their interests, knowing what's going on with their thoughts and their feelings, you know. Yeah. That's very important. Very important. So, so yeah, so it's not just empty time say, well, you know, I was in the house with them. No, but actually spending uh, you know, quality time with them because that's what's gonna last. And uninterrupted. Yeah. You that know, too. Where there's no distractions. If it takes turning off the TV sometimes. I yeah. mean, sometimes you can watch a movie together. There's no harm in that. But maybe sometimes you want to turn off all technology or turn off the TV and just have that uninterrupted, undistracted time. Maybe you sit and play a board game or just, like I said, have a talk. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that's real. Yeah. That's very real. Number six, real quick, because we don't want to uh, prolong this at all. Number six talks about compassion is a dad characteristic. It is. It is. And I want to say that because, listen, hold on. I got to get back to work, King. All right, man. Listen, bro. I appreciate you, Brian. Thank you, Brian. He says, I got to get back to work. Good. Got to get back to work, King uh, fam. Hey, great content as always. Let me know when you discuss uh, the Me Too movement in letter in letter community. I'm, oh, wow. I'm interested in hearing your opinion on those subjects, bro. We we will definitely do that, bro. We'll definitely do that. Lo did love you, bro. You take video? it easy, cause did you already do a video on that though? What? The Me Too. I thought you did a video. The Me Too movement? Didn't you? I don't know. I don't I think I did. Know. I don't I don't think it's just I don't know. I may have mentioned it here and there. Okay. Uh but no. But listen, uh compassion is a dad characteristic. I'm gonna tell you how to say this. You know, our our, our Sonny had a moment the other day or whatever where he was really emotional about something. And instead of being like, oh, well, you need to, uh, you know, you need to be tough, this, that, and the other. I didn't do that. You know, I actually was compassionate towards him 
And I really tried to level with him and feel what he was going through and let him know that it was okay to feel those feelings. Uh, it doesn't make you any less of a boy and stuff like that. Not that it involved any of that, that, that stuff. Alone, no, 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 no. We're not. Yeah, we're not. not it did. It didn't involve any of that no. stuff. No. But what I'm saying is it was an emotional time where, you know, he kind of weeped some tears as a young boy. He kind of because he was very uh, emotional about something. And I just level with him like, you know, it's all right, son. It's perfectly okay to feel that way. It's okay. You know, like kind of how your post talked about how it's okay for men to cry. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And you need to practice doing that as a young boy and let let them kids know that it is okay. To, to cry, especially when it, it it's those things that deserve tears. Yeah. Now, when we ain't talking about the crocodile tears. Oh, you know, I, I scraped my knee. No, I'm not right. saying all that. I'm not saying all that. Right. Put some dirt on it, boy. Walk it off. I hate him! Anyways, that's what we're talking about. Put your money where your mouth is. Oh, listen, this has always been the case. Always put your money where your mouth is. Basically, say what you mean, mean what you say. And what you say to do, exemplify that for your kids. All right? Exemplify that for your kids. Don't, it, 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 your people used to say, oh, you know, uh, do what I say and not as I do. That has never been true. It has always has, to, it should always have been do what do what I do. M- model what I'm doing. If I'm telling you to do it now, if it's something, of course, that's you know not age appropriate. Then we'll be talking about. But you know what I'm saying? As I demonstrate and model this to you, that's that's going to because Make I'm a strong believer that more is caught than taught. Yeah, and you're showing them that it can be lived out. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's because- not impossible to do. It can be like a, a contradiction if they, but but you said, but this is what I see. And it's like, okay, wait a minute. If I have to take one or the, over the other, the C is going to hold more weight. Yeah, for sure. So. For sure. Yeah. Um, dads, you know what, what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this off. I'm going to stop sharing that and we can just read that. That way y'all can see us. Uh, Cause I want to get to these comments. Uh, Gracious greatness says exactly. Dads need to have discernment in order to know, when to straighten out a child, uh, when to when to spare the rod, and also when to uh, comfort a child because they're emotional. They're emotional for X Y Z reason. Man, facts, bro. That's a, that's a good point, bro. Dude from across, do do from across the pond. I'll always be dropping some some knowledge, man. Your deal with the kids' behavior on a case. I'm sorry, you deal with the kids behavior on a case by case basis. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and the way you demonstrate the way you uh, handle each child, I'm sorry, it's going to look differently based on that particular child. Some people need that really, really tough love. And some kids may, you know, if you look at them the wrong way, they, you know, you might, they might cry because they're like, Oh, I disappointed daddy. You know what I'm saying? And we, you, Nicole know what I'm talking about. She know what I'm talking about for real. All right, y'all. Now, listen, um, the, the other one is, listen, and I'm pretty sure we're very uh, familiar with these. Um, don't provoke your children. Definitely don't provoke your children, you know, because we t- say kids obey your parent, but we don't go to, uh, ch- you know, fathers, don't provoke your, your, your sons to wrath. Don't do that. Don't provoke your kid. Don't be like, I wish you would. Don't be don't, now. Listen, that maybe some moments you might have to say that. All right, but don't be sitting up there trying to provoke them on purpose. Like, what you gonna do? You know, don't do that. Don't do that. All right, because you know they're at a disadvantage because they're a child and they have to respect you. They have to listen to you. They have to obey. But don't take that for granted and don't take advantage of that. All right, love your children. Love your children. Dads, never give up on your children. Woo. That is so important. And it brings up the prodigal son. That is very important. You should never give up on your kids. Never give up. Now, are there times where you might need to withdraw a little bit uh, when they're grown or something? Maybe, but you should never give up on them. You should never give up on them. I like that point where it says we can discipline, we can hold accountable, but we must not, we must never give up. So just um, because you're not giving up doesn't mean there's not accountability there. Yeah. There still has to be some accountability. But just no having them, like it says, 
own a deep sense of love and security. Yeah, you know? for sure. For sure. Affirming them. Affirming know, them. Their potential, mm -hmm. what you see in them, you know. And, yeah. and speaking to them what God God's word says about them. Amen. Amen. And, and the last thing we want to give up, and that's a very good point that you, you brought up bringing, speaking to them what God's word says about mm -hmm. them. Not not always a a weighted worldly opinion, but what does God have to say? I, right. I love that. I love that. That's one of my favorite moments. And what is it? Overcomer? Mm -hmm. Where she came back mm -hmm. and she said, I am. And because right. one of her assignments right. is right. to learn all of what God says about you yeah. in his word. And she came back and she came back with like this authority. Yeah. Like this is what God says. It was so dope. It was so dope. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. And lastly, Dads pray for their children. First Chronicles 20, 29, 19. So, of course, it's keeping a covering over your children, praying for them, you know, interceding on their behalf. Yeah. Praying for your kids. King yeah. David, pray for his son. Solomon, uh, children who know who know without any doubt that their dads pray, pray for them every day. Uh, on a deep sense of love and security. I read that too early. I read that this morning, but, but yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Like being able to love on your kids and pray for your children. You know, that really goes a long way um, from your mouth to God's ears when it comes to prayer because you just don't know what your prayers do. Mm -hmm. You just don't know how powerful, how powerful. Hey, Rai Rai. He <laughs> said Rai Rai's watching us. And who is Ray Ray? Oh my goodness. I will tell him who you are after the live. Nikki Millie. Nikki. Millie. Oh no. Nikki. Oh no. I got you. You know what, Nikki Millie? Hi, Nikki. I Nikki B. You. Thank you. <laughs> I'm like the whole time you didn't. Yeah, see, y'all, y'all be coming <laughs> with these names. I like the Y'all, y'all get on my nerves, especially y'all yeah, women. Does. <laughs> y'all get on my nerves with this. Oh, like, oh, God. I hate him. God. <laughs> I oh, my. I'm fired now. I'm fired now. You know what? <laughs> Give us half credit because I knew who you were. Oh, my gosh. And I was wondering, too. But I was like, well, maybe she wants to stay incognito. So I'm not going to. You know, man, yeah, something like that, something like that. <laughs> but y'all, listen, this photo uh, brought about a deep discussion uh, worldwide. All right, it was across the globe. All right, you got folks chiming in from all different countries. Uh, at the end of the day, I believe that wisdom could have been practiced. Um, we don't know what this man's intentions were, but we pray. Hey, dude, man, if you see this video, listen, there's no condemnation, uh, but we're saying that, hey, it just looks a little suspect, looks inappropriate. And I think, um, you know, because you had a lot of people in the comment section saying, well, you know, he's just showing affection. Well, you know, there's a million ways to show affection other than your daughter palm in the back of your head. You kiss him on the and lips. And that's what I was hoping you would do. Like, There's a million like, ways to like, show affection. Like if he were to ever see this, what encouragement there's a million or, ways. or guidance would you offer? My da our daughter, who's eight years old, she knows without a shadow of a doubt her daddy loves her. Mm -hmm. I show her affection every day. I give her a hug, give her a kiss on the forehead. You know, you know, we do all that stuff. You know, she'll be on the couch sitting next to her daddy. You know what I'm saying? She loves her daddy. And she knows without a shadow of a doubt that her daddy loves her. All right. But I don't have to go to that extreme of, uh, you know, doing what we saw in the photo. And I, and I pray, you know, that this may be a teaching moment or a learnable moment or whatever. We're not trying to say what you we're not trying to be the police to say what you can and cannot do with your daughter. But we're just trying to say when you put a video, when you put a photo out there for public consumption, this is the kind of conclusion some people arrive at. All right. So just just to utilize wisdom, discernment. Yeah, for sure. Just to be mindful, you know. Um, <laughs> Q, Q. Hey, okay. listen. You can watch the replay. Back. Yeah, you can watch the you can watch the replay. Q, the, straight. That's just like Ohio cats. Yeah. <laughs> but I, and I also wanted to, I, and I'm glad you kind of circled back because if someone were on here, because I was thinking in my mind, someone may say, "Well, what do all those ten points really have to do with the picture?" Yeah. I wanted you to kind of yeah yeah what it what it has to do with the picture is that we're trying to have it be 
you know, one of those things we're trying to always push because, you know, we that Christian fam because, all right, we always point things back to the Father. We always point things back to the Trinity. We always point things back to Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Because we are that Christian fam. And so we believe, because here's the thing, and see, this is one thing I wanted to say at the beginning. We are a Christian channel, but we are people. And so just like anybody else, we have, uh, we can formulate our own opinions about things. All right. But here's the thing. We're in this world, not of it. And we choose to look at things through the lenses of scripture. All right. That's why we started this channel. All right. So for all the people that may want to say, oh, well, you know, what does it have to do with Jesus? This is what it has to do with Jesus. This is what it has to do. And we have an opinion and we're going to formulate that opinion and we're going to lend, look at it through the lenses of scripture because we have a Christian worldview and we live in this world and not of it. Now, listen, y'all, we love y'all. Why did you have to say it like the person only had two teeth in their mouth now? <laughs> say it like, did it have to sound like that? Hey, <laughs> listen. You turn him loose. Listen, this is this is what it is. Like, you know what I'm saying? But like for real, like, cause you know how they be. They be like, I I I I ain't see those where's where's where the, the description they say that where did I get I said but two facing. You know what that means, y'all? It means it's time for us. Oh my gosh, we get on my nerves. What did this have to do? <laughs> What let's Jesus? Let's reel it back in. Look, and y'all get on my nerves. Up. I know you're cracking up. I know you are. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. They, just, you know, because they be coming out the woodworks from like Paul from down the street. You know, that live in a shack, only got two toothpicks in his mouth. Come out here trying to regulate Thompson. Oh, what does that have to do with he? Huh? All right. Please. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Get on my nerves. <laughs> I hate him. Oh Y'all, listen. Listen. This whole uh, hour that we have been on here has been dope. Uh, Q, bro, you got you to gotta watch the replay because you got to go watch the re- replay. All right. Cat coming from behind the shed with a banjo talking about he's a. <laughs> listen, but listen, y'all know what we say every single time. And it's funny, cats jump on a lot of the numbers start jumping up as we about to dip. But listen, that's, okay, the, the that's cool. The replay, and uh y'all listen, thanks for the super chats. We appreciate that. Uh, because this stuff does cost. We appreciate that super chat. You know, y'all can hit that uh dollar sign button or whatever. We don't do it for that, but we always appreciate it nonetheless. We always do. And if y'all are watching the replay. Uh, YouTube has this new feature where you can actually hit the thanks button or whatever. And if it has blessed your life in any way, shape or form, we'd appreciate any type of donations that y'all give. We don't do it for that. We do it for the glory of God and God is going to take care of us regardless. But we love y'all. And as we always say, somehow, some way, somebody going to find a way to get offended by what I say. But this is what I got to say to all of y'all. For all the trolls. Or anybody else. If you're offended, I really don't care. If everybody woke, everybody woke. <laughs> nah, I'm asleep. Man, I'm asleep. It's gotta be more to life. It's gotta be more to life. Than running, chasing a dream. Than running, chasing a dream. Man, if everybody woke, if everybody woke.